Hi, welcome to the Data Tech. And today I'm going to discuss about uh, some of the important topic. Do data engineers need data science skill set? And do data scientists need data engineering skill set? It's like vice versa. So before I get into it, I just wanted to tell you one important thing. I'm not going to be biased. So being a data engineer, people used to think always you are like biased only you talk about data engineering. No, it's not like that. It's all about reality fact. You can check with some other people who will say yes, right? Fine. So uh, one thing that I want to tell you is uh, newcomers like freshers, for example, you are like wanted to get into data science and you want to learn data science or you want to get into data engineering, you want to learn data engineering. So you are called the freshers, right? When I say freshers, it's not just the students. It's even working professionals want to uh, switch from your existing or current stack to this data engineering or big data. So you are considered to be a fresher. So let's talk about data scientist first. So when people start learning data scientists, right, you people think data engineering is all about just SQL or SQL, right? So that's what people used to think. Okay, data engineering is all about a SQL. It's not about like predictive analysis or as cool as like machine learning or data science stuff, but that is something uh, a wrong mindset. Okay. So uh, basically when you start uh, this data science learning part, right, or you are just uh, watching some YouTube videos or you are like going for some self-placed recording courses or like you are paying some money for some training institute, what they're actually covering and what actually you are learning is just the core data science. It's okay but then they are not teaching data engineering and that means you can ask me a question so do you say as a data scientist do I need to still know data engineering stuff yes I say yes and what about data engineers then so when data engineers start learning data engineering and they start learning about cloud big data and RDBMS no sequels but they don't need to learn data science stuff so based on what you are deciding do data scientists need to learn data engineering or data engineering need to learn data science it's about the requirement of the job that is the job requirements based on the job description only right so people are teaching you or like you are learning only the needed things but when it comes to data science right people are not covering or when I say training institutes or some YouTube videos people are not actually covering the core part of data engineering also as part of your data science syllabus because this is not required for data engineers to do so so data engineers it's wide enough for them to learn only the data engineer topics and they don't want to get into this data science stuff okay so even like if you take data engineers right how you think how data scientists think Data engineering is all about SQL. I, I mean to say only few people, uh, they used to think like this and something like that few data engineers used to think, okay, data science is all about Python only. <laughs> so vice versa, people do mistakes, fine. So now let's get into it, right? I'll just gonna show you some data points. Like I have to give you a proof so that you should believe me, right? Without that, I, I cannot ask you to believe me that what I say blindly, right? So what I'm going to do is let, let me just jump into LinkedIn and I'm just going to search for some job and then I just click jobs. And then let me search for data engineering guys. I'm just searching it now. It's not like something I'm showing you by uh, like a, what to say. It's already been selected. It's not like that. I'm just going to search. So data engineer. So let me see some of the jobs that get pops up during this time. Okay, fine. So maybe the first one, the Uber staff data engineer. Okay, let me click this and I'll, this is data engineering job description. Okay, so let, let me just go down. And then let me see, like they are asking for Spark, Hive, Flink, Kafka, NoSQL. And then like in preferred, they were been still asking for HDF, Spark, Flink, Hadoop. See here, I, I, I don't see any kind of in preferred qualification and basic qualification. I don't see anything related to data science. But then if I come to end, right, what the candidate will do, right? You can see in the second line, identify an undefined data model collaborating with the data science team. So data engineers do collaborating with the data science, but they don't want to do any kind of data science requirement. So out of 20 job description, if you see with respect to data engineering, right? Maybe one or two, I can say just one out of 20, one job description might have some data science skill set as a job description for data engineers, but not all the jobs, not even 50%. Okay. Let me just go for some other jobs. Okay. Let me just go for, okay. Walmart data engineer three. Okay, let me just come down and then show more. Okay, so they ask Scala, Big Data, Spark, Hadoop and Airflow, GCP and that's it. And I don't see anything else. Fine. So let me just show you one more. Okay, let me, okay, Principal Data Engineer Oracle. Okay, let me click this, go down. Okay. Okay, so skill set associated to this job is, it says like, Okay, so now if you see this, so now if we go down, okay, so they have, huh, okay, so ETL, NoSQL, DevOps, Spark, Kafka, Flink, and then they are expecting us to know Cloud, AWS, Azure, GCP. Guys, this is principal data engineer, so JD might have a lot of things. So 
let's see if they have anything related to yeah if you see here right so they have the sky kit learn tensor flow pipe PyTorch. So these are something uh, related to data science and even they're asking for ML and even LLM, right? So this is something like principal data engineers, as I told you, right? Some J JDs can have, so because I'm showing you both, right? So I'm just showing you one JD, which has data science as well. And I showed you two more other JDs, which doesn't have data science because this way I can prove that I'm not biased, right? So this is principal data engineer. It has like, it should be like, you should be at least 10 plus or 12 plus experience to get into this. So, but if you see any other uh, data engineer JDs between like uh, two years or two, eight years of experience, you will never see data science maybe let's see one more okay so we have okay so we have this google senior data engineer youtube okay let's see what they ask so senior data engineer youtube okay just let me just go down yeah so they were being in the second point if you see design build and optimize the data architect and extract transform and load pipelines to make them accessible for business analyst and data scientist accessible for they are not asking you to have any uh, core skill of data science, right? So that's it. So it's, it's all about ETL. Okay. So now if you see, like I showed you like even Google job, which doesn't have any data science requirement, but then Oracle has it because it's a principal data engineer and you can just uh, go for it. I think I noticed it, right? So uh, for, from the JDs, whatever I showed, even HDFS and Hive is still part of the skill set. but so many people used to say HDF and Hive is not using much in the real time industry. So I, I, it's an, it's an RIP for the mindset guys. It's very important. As I used to say in my many videos, even though now people are using this Redshift, BigQuery, all this stuff, but still people are having uh, the requirement of Hive. At least people are expecting you to have the knowledge of Hive. Okay, see, it's it's like proven. Fine. So now let let me start with data science. Okay, I just click data scientist. It's, it's it's there in my recent search. Okay, data science. Okay, so we have Deloitte. Let me click it. Deloitte data scientist. What they're expecting? Okay, it says clearly. It says in the third point, advanced skills with statistical programming software and data querying languages like SQL, Hadoop, Hive, Scala. They're expecting, and they're expecting some. Uh, something with respect to cloud and they are expecting Databricks and that means Spark. Yeah. So let me go to Microsoft Data Science Manager. Okay. What they're expecting from us. Okay. It's a, it's a manager posting guys. So it have lots and lots of skill sets. So it has all this AAML stuff, but then I'm just checking whether they are expecting us to have this Hadoop knowledge, uh, Spark knowledge. Okay. So as far as I could see, they are not mentioned. Oh, okay. They mentioned it. Yeah, of course. See hands-on experience with Hadoop, Spark, Synapses, here it is, right? So they were, they were been asking for it, right? So even this Microsoft senior data science manager need needs to know that. And then let's see, like, uh, do we have anything else next? So let's, yeah. Okay. So lead data scientist target. Okay. Let's go for this and lead data scientist. Okay. Mid senior level. Okay scroll down. Okay. So yeah, I could see they're asking for Python, SQL, Hadoop, Hive, additional knowledge of Spark, Scala, R, Java, Decide, but not mandatory. It has, it's, it's as part of one point, at least in the JD, they have, have mentioned, but I already showed you one job, which doesn't have any data engineering requirement, but so most of the jobs will have this Hadoop Spark, Hadoop Spark repeatedly. So that's what I was coming to say guys. So even I showed you in data engineering also somewhere in one job, they have asked for data science requirement, but that is not something uh, going to be huge, uh, like list of JDs or only very less. As I told you, every 20 JDs, you see only one JD of data engineering will ask for this data science, but not same for data scientists out of every 20. 20 resumes or sorry, 20 job descriptions you take at least like eight to nine JDs will have data engineering requirement. But even if that is not there as part of your JD and in the interview also, they didn't ask you anything on that, but in your work life, you may get a chance or to work in data engineering tech stacks like Spark or Hadoop Hive because something that is highly required for the data scientist in my perspective, guys. So here again, I'm just not here to, because I'm not saying something a data engineer should learn additionally. I'm just asking data scientists to, to learn additionally. So, and that means I'm not biased, right? So the effort, what you put on data science learning, just put some one ten percent of effort in learning data engineering at the end, not in the beginning, just complete all your data science learning stuff. And then at last try to learn it because that is something required as part of the data science. So by knowing data engineering and data science, you will be like a full stack data developer, right? So uh, that's what guys, I just wanted to tell you in this video and really thanks for watching. And if you want such data engineering videos, my channel, the data tech has lots and lots of big data and cloud data engineering videos. Just go and have a look. And if you really like this video, please do subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues. And my Instagram page is the data tech. You can follow me there as well. Thanks for watching guys.